Как снеговик сегодня. Today Alex is not alone, his dad came to help him and at the moment they are putting the final row of the foundation. As you may see we have about 20 stones, I don't know how to call these things, so these structures. In Russian it is apora. So at the moment they are putting the final row. As you may see, somewhere there will be three rows and over there, near the fir tree, there will be four rows of the stones because our land is not, how is to say, is not flat. And here we have a small hill that goes there in that direction. So here we have highlands and there we have lowlands. And not to make the surface flat, we decided just um, to add uh, one more stone. Мы можем начать с этого, но потом откинемся в то, что нам он будет стоять нам тоненьким тоненьким слоем, мы его не поставим, понимаешь? So guys, here will be three rows and here will be four rows of uh, the stones. One, two, three and one more here. Four.
want to show you guys <laughs> our house. That is the box that uh, Liz sent to me some time ago. It was uh, a box full of sweets. So, and uh, here there is the image of <laughs> our future house. So it will be approximately uh, like this one story building with uh, a small porch but here uh, the porch is uh, without windows as you may see so uh, we want to be it as a room so we would like to place some windows here so but in general that is the type of the house we are going uh, to build and here as you may see the attic is um, with the light and we would like to make uh, it lower without uh, the room to live so that that is uh, the attic where i think people live because here is a small window so we would like just uh, the ground floor to be occupied and here will be just uh, the roof also here is um, uh, some fireplace or I don't know some stove uh, we would like to heat our house with electricity because the construction of the stove and the construction of a fireplace so it takes uh, a lot of money and a lot of strength and besides we are going to use the house during summer during spring um, during autumn so it is enough just some electricity uh, heater electric heater so that is uh, the plan of our uh, house the project the project <laughs> and Alex almost finished the construction <laughs> once again we are out of uh, cement today in the morning we bought uh, three bags of cement and it seems that we have to buy one more bag uh, because out of 20, 20 such structures I think two will be unfinished that is um, the height of the foundation four stones here and uh, over there it will be only three stones one two three because our um, uh, land is not flat that is why here we have four and there we have three Today Alex's father came to help him, that is why the process was very fast. Now Alex is doing all the work alone. I'm useless, <laughs> as always. I cleaned uh, the house and now I have nothing to do. So I decided to occupy myself with filmmaking. The weather is horrible today, guys. Uh, some very light rain but very warm I should say for November that is about 10 degrees centigrade a perfect weather not cold no snow at the moment as you may see but the rain is really pretty disgusting drizzling Marasita Сам дом будем колотить зимой. Ага. Не, не шурши, подожди. Алекс uh, Алекс said that we must finish the work up to the first frost. Говорю не шурши, нет, он шуршит. Алекс said that we must finish uh, the foundation before the first frost, and the rest of the work, the rest of the construction, he is planning to do during winter. So, of course, it's, if winter is not very cold. <laughs> Alex says winter is a perfect time for Dutch work. <laughs> uh, 
скажи, что э, такой график обусловлен моей работой. Алекс mm -hmm. says uh, it is because of his uh, work. He can't do the construction during summer because he very often goes on business. That is why uh, he has to do all the work during winter. <laughs> Alex is very optimistic about his <laughs> future house. No, just не выдержит, господи. Обои на нас уже падали. Со стен. Ничего с тобой те строители. На английский не буду переводить. Скажу для моих русских, Молодец, да. русских друзей. В общем, у нас был старый-старый ремонт, и Леша все не хотел его делать. А потом он лежал на диване, точнее, мы вместе с ним лежали на диване. И нас сверху накрыло обоями. От стены отвалилась стопка обоев. Раньше же как делали? Газетка на газетку, сверху свой обоев, потом еще один слой обоев, в общем. Там был такой солидный пирог обоев. В общем. И в один прекрасный день нас накрыло этими обоями. Ну и, в общем, мы начали ремонт. И с тех пор никак его не остановим. Все что-то чиним. То одно, то другое.